Hello friends, welcome to another project. So in this project, we are going to make a web-based tool that is SQL Query Automation. So basically, uh, in this tool, uh, there is an option that says that user can visually build the SQL queries and automate the queries. So let's start with the demo. So before starting the demo, we will see the flow of this project. So this is the flow of the project. Uh, if you are the new user, you need to create an account. If you are already user, the, then you need to log in. Basically, login functionality is uh, applied here. And after login, you will re redirect to the home page. And in home page, there are certain navigation options, document page, video, contact, feedback, etc. And there is import database option. So you will understand this uh, option whenever uh, we will see the uh, demo. So let's. Uh, this is a UI that we are going to develop. This, these are all the list of tables on the database. Uh, all the tables that you will connect to the database will be displayed here. This is a drop table section. Whichever tables you will drag from the left hand side, you will drop in this uh, middle drop table section. And as soon as you drop, all the columns of that uh, table will be displayed here. This is a feature box. All the features that is uh, operators, clauses, uh, group by, joins, etc. Aggregate functions uh, are dropped down here. And whichever operations you perform in this drop table section, the query will get automatically gener generated here. So let's move to the demo. So as I said, if you are the new user, you need to register here. So as I am already a uh, user, I will just uh, log in here. So if you enter the wrong password or wrong email, you will see a pop-up here. So that it please enter correct email or password. So I will now enter the right email and password. So as soon as I log in, I will redirect to the home page. So here are some navigation options about documentation. So uh, let us see one by one. So this is a slider. There are basically three images in the slider. Uh, this is a uh, some info about auto sql that is uh, how sql query generator works what is it and how to use it so there is some info then here's a uh, certain features of this project so that this is the first web based tool uh, there are many many tools available in the market but all are desktop applications and they are all licensed products so this is the first free web based tool uh, visually it helps user to visually build the query so it will provide better understanding to the user while generating the queries uh, SQL editor. So this tool not only write the query but also fetch the output of auto return query. And this is a more feature that uh, as I earlier said all joins order by group are implemented here. This is a documentation for the project and remaining is the front end. So as soon as I, I will complete this video, I will attach this video in this video section. And this is contact us page. And this is just the front end part. So let us move to the demo. So if you are the new user, if you want to learn SQL, you can also come in learn SQL here. So all the main SQL points are all uploaded here. So now let's move to the demo. So as soon as I click on demo uh, navigation bar, uh, demo button, you will see the one drop down page. So here are all the list of the uh, database that are present in your MySQL uh, or a PHP MyAdmin. So I will just select the first database that is a restaurant MS uh, and click on submit button. So as soon as I click the restaurant MS, you will see all the tables from the restaurant MS are displayed here. Uh, you can see that selected database is restaurant MS. Now if you want to change the database, you just need to click on this button, change database and I will just now use practice for at this time. So as I earlier said, these are all the tables from practice database. You can here see selected database is practice. All the database are uh, displayed here. This is the droppable section as we will uh, see in the uh, basic UI. Uh, these are all the func uh, functionalities we are going to see one by one. Uh, this is a drop down uh, menu feature box that is all the group by operators clauses aggregate functions are present here. This is a query writer area. So whatever operations you perform in drag and drop area will be displayed here. And this is just a trigger to create a trigger. So now let us uh, drag one table from the database. So uh, let us take employee table and uh, drop in the droppable area. So as soon as I drop this table you can see that the query will get automatically generated here. So let's start from employees automatically generated in this section. Uh, now if you want to see the output of this out, uh, generated query, here our output button is also there. You need to just click on output button and you will see the output of this uh, query. So if user want any specific, so you will just click on the check checkbox. So again you can see the output, that employee, uh, employee email and employee phone. Now let us see all the functionalities one by one. Now I want all, all the columns from the database, all, all the tables, sorry. So let us group, group by functionalities. So I will just group by uh, apply group by on employee phone. You can see that the group by functionality is added here or updated here. Order by. You, you need to just select a uh, option from drop down menu and everything will get updated automatically. Uh, order by employee ID descending. So you can see that order by employee ID descending is automatically generated here. Now let us check where limit. 
where clause so in where clause there are also two options you, if you want any specific column uh, values null is not null so you can also check that so i want employee id should be not null and one user input tag is also there in user input uh, a detail list is provided you can see the detail list is here uh, given here so i will take employee id greater than one and apply you can see that the query will get a uh, updated automatically in the form of sql uh, manner that select will come first then where clause then group by and then order by clause so it will uh, work properly according to that now, now let us check limit so i want limit uh, 20 apply now if user want to see the output of this query you will just click on output button so you can see that the query uh, will be displayed here so employee greater than 1 2 and order by employee phone so this is the output of the query now if a user want to join the two queries so he will uh, take uh, so obviously he will need the another table also so he will take the another table so you can see that the join query will be displayed here automatically that inner join uh, by default it will provide inner join if you want to change the join and the join columns you can uh, change if i want left join or right join so you will select uh, from this drop down i want to do employee id and here applicant id save changes and close so you can see that it will get updated so i want now employee email so you can see that now, now for the uh, two tables it will display employee dot employee email for the one table it will only displaying it will only display the employee email that uh, column name for the two table it will display table name dot column name and for the interview uh, this table it will display interview dot applicant name so this is the again a uh, updated part now again if i want to uh, take some aggregate functions now i will take uh, you can also search here so if i want mean i want mean of uh, employee id and max max of applicant id max of sorry uh, max of employee email so you can see that uh, click on output button so you can see that the mean uh, mean of uh, applicant id is 1 and max of uh, employee dot employee email is this example this is employment applicant name so there are many uh, functionalities clause all are working so if i want some of uh, employee id apply output you can see that the sum is 55 of the all the employee id so now if i want to just uh, clear all the query here restart server button is there it will restart the all the query so this is a uh, this is a tool how it works so let us see all this functionality one by one so now if i completed if i just completed one query and i want to save this query to the database let's say i want to save this query to the database i will just click on save query and this will uh, edit new query to the database query saved successfully so this button so work to save the query this button is used to create uh, uh, display the create table so if i want to take uh, two tables and i want to make another table by combining the two tables columns if i want employee email and applicant name in another table, I will just cre click on create table. I will uh, give new new name to the table uh, such that inter employee. Okay. So it will load. Oh, yes, you can see that new table ad ad added successfully. Uh, inter employee, as you can see, this uh, table get updated here. Now, if you want to take this table, you can also take this table. See, uh, as we selected these two column names are coming here. So, I will just restart the server. Now, if I want to see all the query which I already written, I will uh, just go to the uh, all queries and click on refresh button. So, you can see the all the query which I written uh, are displayed here. Uh, I am just working on the uh, search functionality. Uh, it is not completed as of now, but you can also complete this functionality. Uh, this is a profile section so uh, this is uh, my username user id uh, these are two options uh, name all my profile and number of queries if i click on this button you can see the number of queries i have written 12 uh, as i earlier said this is change uh, db uh, functionality clear query i also discussed uh, reference in reference you can see that the save query create table all the functionalities uh, brief info is uh, provided here uh, yes all is clear you, you can also copy this uh, query uh, i will just employ interview i can also uh, take uh, three tables to join the query you can see that now 
by default it will give inner join query if you want to change you can change by update joins inner join i want left join employee id applicant id and employee id here save changes you can see that inner join and left join gets updated here if i click on output button i think no uh, no uh, yes output is appeared so in the second part you will see i have applied left join so all the right part should uh, non matching columns are none here so if i want to copy the query i will just uh, click on this so you can see that the this query has been already copied to the clipboard okay now let us move to the another section that is uh, if i want this data to be downloaded here one export to csv button is also, also there i can just uh, export to csv this data i will give any name uh, file file so it will get downloaded you can see that file twelve dot csv so it will later also get up, uh, downloaded here now let us see what is trigger so basically uh, trigger is a PLSQL uh, query uh, i will just enter the name physics marks 90 As soon as I cl uh, click on create button, you can see that uh, create query is uh, append here to create a trigger in the database. So this is again a one functionality here. So as of now, I have cleared, uh, cleared all the functionalities uh, from this. I will just uh, restart server. That means all the clear all the query. Close. So let's move to the home section now. Yes, you can take as many tables. So let's see the one big query. Employ interview. And orders so I will just apply order by You can see that uh, this uh, lengthy query also we can write by using just drag and dropping and select the button. Let's click on output button. You can see that so as of now there are not many records in some table so it will uh, provide some output. But you can see that the, as uh, big as big as big as query we can write in this uh, tool. So let's reset the server. We can also save query as I earlier said. We can search that query here. Click on refresh. Uh, all the query will provided here. Profile over. So now let's move to the home page. Let's start the server. So this is the project. You can also log out from here. So uh, the tools and technology used for this project are uh, for the front end as I already said HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I will make the make the uh, code available uh, as soon as I complete the 500 subscribers uh, in in my YouTube channel. And so, thank you users for uh, watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe my channel. So I will make uh, another.